last left off, we had just purchased our domain name from Namecheap um, and we just bought a year subscription or longer. And um, yeah, now we want to actually use our domain name to get it to point to our website. So I'm going to make this video of how to do this in two parts because it can take some time for um, this process to work. And that's because the domain name system uh, can take some time to update because the system is made of uh, many computers all around the world that all have all these like uh, cached values that take time to roll over. So don't expect this to uh, happen quickly. It might take hours. It at worst might take a day or so, um, but hopefully you can get this done in an afternoon. So yeah, we're in Namecheap. I've purchased my cool website. I got here by going to my account, my dashboard, and then going to here and looking at manage my domain. And I think I left you off last time in this section in advanced DNS, but we actually only need to go here into the domain section. So that's uh, this bit here. And we don't want to use Namecheap to set our DNS records. We could, and it would mostly work and be okay, uh, but they're, I mean, the user interface is terrible. And um, it would be better to use something that does a little bit more for us. Um, and a tool that's great for the kind of service that we want to run is Cloudflare. So Cloudflare is a free, optionally paid tool that you can use to um, administer your DNS records uh, to set up your domain name. And it will also let you um, <clears throat> access features like uh, encryption of your traffic and caching of your static assets, which are things that we want. So I just want to show you what it will look like once we've set it up. So I'll go into the Cloudflare setup for my blog, mattsegel.dev. Um, and you can see you've kind of got all of these options. A lot of them like workers and um, page rules you probably won't look at, but DNS is the big one. That's our domain name system settings. And you can see for mattsegel.dev, it's a pretty simple setup. I've just got a mapping from mattsegel.dev to some uh, other website, which has an ugly name. And so that's how I manage mattsegel.dev to map the domain name from one thing to another. So we're not going to look at mattsegel.dev anymore. Instead, we're going to add a new website. So I assume you've logged into Cloudflare after creating an account, and you should see something like this, some, something similar, where you just want to go and add a site. You want to add a site name. So for me, that's my cool website dot XYZ. Whatever your site name is, don't put in www or anything like that. Just put the uh, top level domain and then your domain name. So uh, to be honest, I actually already created this site and then deleted it on Cloudflare. I'm hoping that won't create too much of a difference between the login experience, but I'll let you know if it's any different. It's just happened to think. Cool. So uh, we could give them money. Um, we don't need to yet. It's a personal website, and uh, I've actually seen sort of sort of professional websites that have uh, limited needs use the free plan as well. But if you'd like to give them more money, you can. All right, so Cloudflare has had a hunt around the internet to try and find some DNS records for Michael website. Couldn't find anything, and so uh, it's giving us the chance to put some in now. And so we will. Uh, we want to set these records to create a mapping between our domain name, michaelwebsite.xyz, and the IP address of our server, so that people who type our domain name into their web browser here will um, be directed to our server. So the kind of record we want to create heaps of options. The one that we want is an A record, which is the most common kind of record, and this is called an address record. And it's pretty simple. It just allows us to map a, a domain name to an IP address. So let's put in the IP address of our server, which for me is 6.225.23.131. And the name um, is going to be uh, was it michaelwebsite.xyz. In a uh, in Cloudflare's like weird syntax, if it's just the root domain, you put in an at symbol. Um, and we'll see that expanded out in a second, but it, you just put in an at. Um, 
TTL automatic. That's just some caching thing. You don't care. And you can trigger, you can uh, twiddle the proxy status. We want to keep it on this. So there are two options. One, all your traffic goes through Cloudflare, allowing them to set up uh, SSL encryption on the traffic and uh, do some caching for you and stuff like that, which is what we want. We can also just use them for their DNS without those features, which means that our traffic doesn't pass through their servers. So it really depends, is your traffic so incredibly sensitive that it isn't allowed to pass through their servers? I'll leave that up to you. So let's add this record. So I just like to point out that this hasn't added the record yet. This is just telling Cloudflare that when they're ready, please set up this record. But you can see we've created an A record from michaelwebsite.xyz to our server uh, with these settings. So that's cool. We'll create one more for www to our, can I just copy this? Yeah. All right. So this is just if someone types in www.michaelwebsite.xyz, they get the same result. Cool, and let's continue. Cool, so I think because I've already set this up, they didn't ask me some more questions, which they usually do. So I'll just go through these now, um, just so you know what the options are. So they've gone and already set up our DNS, and that's because um, we've already set up their name servers. So I'll just show you that bit first. When you get to the end of the setup process, they'll ask you about the name servers, and uh, putting in your name servers is essentially just giving control of your domain to Cloudflare. So what we're gonna do is copy each of these in turn and go to Namecheap and go to the name service section and put our name service in and set that. And that is the last thing you do for Namecheap. Once you've done that setting, once you've edited it and pressed the tick, which will come up, um, you can close the tab. And I just wanna show you that it's by default on Namecheap basic DNS, but you wanna set it to custom DNS change it to the two Cloudflare name servers, which are different, save it, and then close this. Cool. Once that's done, it'll take yeah, about half an hour to set up. Um, and while you're going through the Cloudflare dialogue to set up your site, uh, they'll ask you about this, SSL TLS. So this is basically an option to uh, apply encryption to some of the web traffic. So all traffic, uh, that's proxied through Cloudflare, will start in someone's web browser, hit Cloudflare servers, and then be passed on to our web server DigitalOcean. And they're saying, would you like us to encrypt traffic between the browser and Cloudflare? And that's the flexible option. And yeah, we would. Uh, you can turn it off if you want, which seems kind of dumb to me. Um, unless you have some really good reason not to encrypt your traffic, you may as well. Um, you can have full end-to-end -end encryption. I believe, I'm not sure, but I think we have to set this up on our end in Unicorn, as well as setting it in Cloudflare. Although maybe if you read more about it, you can figure that out for yourself. Um, so we're just not gonna do that yet, which means that if someone intercepts our traffic here between the browser and Cloudflare, then they won't be able to read it. But if they are able to intercept our traffic here and between Cloudflare and our origin server, they can read it. This isn't such a big deal for like our dumb little server web app. Uh, that we set up. But if we were, you know, processing people's credit card information, for example, we would want this to be encrypted. Um, cool. So that is the encryption part. There's also the speed settings. I think it's under optimization. Uh, so they also ask you, would you like Brotly compression turned on? And this is just their way of uh, packaging up your web traffic so it is smaller and is transferred faster. And um, yeah, turn it on. They also want to try and uh, remove any unneeded uh, white space from your code without actually changing the code itself or the meaning of the code. And I would say, yes, turn that on. So JavaScript, CSS, and HTML. Um, and the one other thing is, I think that's the big one actually. That's mostly it. I think I go over everything else after this. So basically, once you've um, set your uh, Cloudflare name servers and gone through the, um, the dialogue to set up your website, uh, you might just have to wait like half an hour 
uh, worst case like a day, but hopefully half an hour for those records to propagate from Namecheap to Cloudflare so that we can get to this page. So I would go and uh, take a walk, watch some TV, come back in half an hour to an hour and uh, watch the second video in the series.